Hi everybody, this is Mohanad Hamid and in our session I will explain how we can use the sewer jams to design domestic networks in camps. The software actually will start from the slope and will say the slope of the ground. We have uh, flat uh, or zero slope or if we have negative slope, uh, the software will start with H minimum. This is, will be H minimum, which in our case one meters, and he will take S minimum. For the pipe, this will be S minimum. If the I is equal to zero or is less than zero, negative slope. If this, for example, lasts long time, for example, for the next manhole, the software will continue with the S minimum until the slope, the earth ground slope, different. In the next case, if we have for example, this, the slope of the earth is more than S minimum and less than S maximum. So the software will take the same I for the pipe and here he can keep from the first H minimum and for the end H minimum. Here the S will be equal to I. If we have I more than S maximum, then the software will start from H more than H minimum and he will take S maximum go until he reach H minimum when he reach H minimum which is his minimum depth he will make drop structure and then continue in S maximum until he reach again H minimum and then he will go and again why that because the economic design is when your excavation is less which mean uh, the software will try to go always in parallel with the ground slope and in this case uh, don't uh, worry about this minus this mean this is inverted pipe uh, doesn't matter because uh, the, the software will understand how the, the connection between the lines. Here, the software, let's say the ground level and the ground slope, and as you see, it's like flat. So he, when he's, he starts in the minimum slope, but uh, the problem in minimum slope, figure out the velocity is less than the minimum velocity. I will add uh, velocity. He start to increase the slope y to increase the velocity until he, he reach the 0 0.4 when he reach it he fix the slope and continue to this manhole and this manhole again in the same way he start from the uh, s minimum but the velocity is less than minimum velocity so he increase the slope until he reach the minimum velocity and he start and you can see it's always minimum velocity uh, this is again because we have uh, small quantity for the person every day here we can say he take the, the minimum slope uh, because he have a high velocity more than 0.4 meter per second and again here he the flat there is here flat slope and he go with minimum slope as you see we, he just uh, try to make minimum he uh, for example here we have two uh, point 32 meters and he now try to return to small depth again so this is the principle for the software now what if i make the minimum velocity in our constraint for example 0.3 and there are some standards which accept okay i will now close this profile and i go to uh, design constraints and i will say for the velocity it's 0 0.3 close make compute again yes i have no notification i will open again the profile to say what change now you can say he design on this minimum so uh, decrease the slope and also we can say they are changed in the depth it is less than in the old design so this is the principle of the software start the design starting 
and why he used 100 millimeters because we return to our catalog we select the smallest diameter is 100 so he has no smaller diameter so he start from one millimeter and then try to adjust the velocity to our limits the between the minimum and the maximum velocity as we add it in our constraints.